Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Freestyle Fridays with author Matt D. Talford on Maddie's Rap. Now, um, you guys know when I go freestyle, I just let it rip. I don't do a whole lot of editing. Um, I may add some music or something in here, but I haven't done a freestyle edition in a minute. The other thing you might notice is that I did not call this filterless because what I realized is that I don't have a filter anyway, all right? So... There is no more filterless freestyle Friday because I don't have a filter anyway. All right, so we don't need to we don't need to be redundant by saying filterless freestyle Friday. But you also notice that I don't call this filterless freestyle filterless five minute freestyle Fridays because my boy Myron called me out on this a while back in one of my comment in the comment sections of one of my videos. He said, "Matt, give it up. You're not gonna get these in in under five minutes anymore." And the competitor in me wants to challenge him. But he's probably more right than wrong. So, Myron, if you're watching this, <laughs> I've dropped the five minute. Are you happy? Okay. So, anyway, let me let me skip all of the, the da 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 and get on with this because this is I'm not like I said freestyle. We don't we not we light light editing, no cutting, whatever. We gonna go straight through. So, what are we talking about today? Well, in a day and age where the there is a massive massive spiritual awakening on the planet, people are waking up and remembering that we are spiritual beings having a human experience they're remembering now and with that i'm hearing this repeated message or this repeated question should we be calling god he or she is god a him or is it her is god masculine or is he feminine or is it feminine for, for the purpose of this intro now, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I have been dealing heavily in the description of men and women and showing you that there is a balance in men and women of masculine and feminine energy. Now, that doesn't mean that all beings are created equal from the standpoint of, you know, some people are more masculine and feminine. Some people are more feminine and masculine. It doesn't matter what the gender is because these are energies, okay? So when I say that masculine and there's a balance of masculine and feminine energy, I'm strictly talking about your energy zones in your body, otherwise known as your chakras. Chakra one, masculine. Chakra two, feminine. Chakra three, masculine. Chakra four, feminine. Chakra five, masculine. Chakra six, feminine. And chakra seven, the crown chakra being neutral. So again, should we be calling God he or him? She or he? I'm going to go out here and just answer that question for you right now based on what I know. Okay. Now, and now let me, let me say one more preface, one more preface. There is a rise in the divine feminine energy in the earth and it's long overdue. It is long overdue. Listen, I'm as manly a man as I know. Let me, let me just put that out there. I'm as manly a man as I know. And I ride hard for my boys. All right. Cause you know, y'all women stick together. So we men stick together too. We don't always show it. You know, it ain't we don't always just stick together around sports, all right? Um, men stick together too. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm down, I'm down with my boys, I'm down with the fellas. But the earth has been in masculine dominant energy for far too long. It has been out of balance. Is that to say that masculine energy is bad? No. If it were bad, you wouldn't have three, you wouldn't be three parts masculine and three parts feminine, okay? So masculine energy is not bad. But it's bad when there's too much masculine and not enough feminine. Just like it's bad if it's too much feminine and not enough masculine, okay? All right, so I'm not gonna get any further into that. That being said, I wanted to issue that as a final preface. I personally feel like the rise of divine feminine energy is long overdue and it is required to balance out the over masculinity of planet Earth, okay? Now, that's happening right now, whether you like it or not. It, it cannot stop, it will not stop until the earth is brought back into balance, okay? So the, ma the, the feminine energy is gonna rise, the masculine energy is gonna fall, and they're gonna reach an equilibrium, okay? They're gonna reach an equ equilibrium, just like in accordance with the way we're created. What did he say in the book of Genesis? In the beginning, he created them, them, male and female. He didn't say Adam and Eve, like I don't, I don't buy into the Adam and Eve story, I don't. I, I used to, I don't anymore. I, I, why would he create millions of birds, millions of animals, all of this, and they just create one man and one woman and say, be fruitful and multiply the earth. Kind of don't make sense. 
it says in the beginning he created them male and female okay so I've, I've broken it down for you everybody is three parts masculine three parts feminine one neutral with regards to your energy zones in your body now we can get all into astrology and talk about the female astrology astrological placements and the female and the masculine astrological placements and the elements and all that i'm not doing that wanted to set that up for the final time there is a rise in divine feminine energy and it is long overdue so now that being said matt what do you think answer your own question is it proper to refer to the creator as him or her it's proper to re to relate to him the way we've been doing it all along as him and i'm going to show you why and i'm going to use scripture to do that right after this short break you're watching maddie's rap with author Matt d talford okay welcome back to another friday freestyle edition of maddie's rap i'm your host author Matt d talford author of a couple of award-winning books that I will tell you about at the end of this video because I want to jump right into today's freestyle edition, all right, of Maddie's rap. And I told you when we when I go freestyle, I'm not checking myself. You know what? Let me let me let me just share this with y'all for a minute, okay? The purpose of doing this thing freestyle is for those of you that do videos and for those of you that watch, you know, other YouTube videos and for those of you that aspire to be, you know, podcasters or video whatever. The more you can rehearse uh or, or the more you remove the safety net of editing, the easier it is for you to come forward with your content without worrying about, okay, did I make a mistake? Am I gonna have to cut this? Am I gonna have to go back or whatever? So part of the reason why I do these freestyle editions is because it forces me to stay present, okay? And not get too far ahead of myself or not worry about, and it, it removes the fear. Okay, well, am, I gonna have to, am I gonna have to redo this? I don't care about redoing it. I'm just going straight up. All gas, no brakes. So let's go. Now, back to this. And it sounds like I'm rushing because I'm used to this. Trying to get these in in under five minutes. And I've already blown that already. So, Myron, no more comments. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Myron is my boy, y'all. He's got his own channel. Y'all check him out. I'm going to put a link in the uh, description box below. So you guys check him out. Uh, young brother. Love his energy. Um, passionate about what he does. Leo, fire energy. For those of y'all that, that are into astrology and understand these different star signs, whatever. Um, Leo. Let me, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go there because this is not about astrology. Now, um, if you're new to the channel, I hope you, by the end of this video, that you will like what you've seen here and that you'll hit that subscribe button and join the Matt, Matt T's rap family, okay? Join the Matty's rap family. Um, listen, I'm over a half of uh, grand in, in subscribers by the time you're watching, well, not by the time you're watching this video, as by the date of the recording of this video. Again, I'm not. I'm going freestyle here, so not 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 editing. But um, I'm 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 over 500. My goal is to get to a thousand by summer. So I need you guys' help. If you like this content, please hit the the, uh, the uh, thumbs up button to by the end of the video. Hit the thumbs up button to say that you like it. Hopefully you'll like it. And then uh, hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and family. Now, um, share the channel with your friends and family. Now, um, getting back into the topic today, should we be referring to God as Him or Her? I answered that question for you in, in the introduction. I said we should be calling him what we've been calling him all along. Him. Okay? And I told you I'm going to have some scripture to back up the reason why we should be doing it that way. Okay? Now, let me go to my handy dandy notes because, you know, when you get these downloads, for those of you out here that are spiritual and you're coming into your spirituality and you understand what I mean when I say download, it's good to have a pen and paper handy because sometimes if you don't, unless you're a person that remembers verbatims, and I know one or two people that they'll they'll repeat to you word for word what you said to them, okay? Two years ago, all right? So anyway, I didn't know that people like that existed because I'm not one of them. I mean, you could tell me your name. I'll walk around the corner, go get some water, come back and be like, what's your name again? But I don't forget faces. I never forget a face, all right? So um, anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm going back to my notes here. But anyway, now, I'm going to tell you why you should be referring to God the creator, divine source, however you want to call it, as him. Watch this. Let's go to the book of John, all right? We're going to go to John, the first chapter. This is one of my favorite passages of scripture, by the way. 
and um, if you watched a recent video I did this was this was a part of that okay I don't remember what video it was I just told you guys I don't remember names I just I know I remember details and 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 faces but uh, names you know specific words and conversations and all that stuff I don't I don't remember all of that stuff anyway um John chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not all right that was John chapter 1 verse 1 uh, verses 1 through 5 John 1 and 1 through 5 read it for yourself um, I've had it on the screen there and you know there's a title at the bottom of the screen here for you to you know write it down write down the passage of scripture whatever so I just give it to you three ways all right now some of you let's deal with the naysayers those that want to say well God's a she God's a he, uh, her whatever you you you're probably gonna look at that passage of scripture and say oh well yeah that's I mean the Bible is a patriarchal document I mean it's 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 it was written by men and they of course they're gonna put him in there so even you reading that passage of scripture doesn't mean anything to me you know I prepared myself for that you know <laughs> When you when you when you when you're into playing games of strategy, you got to think like, okay, what do I want to do, and what's uh, what's the other guy probably going to do? You know, this is what coaches do when they're preparing for football games, basketball games. Generals do this before they go into battle. Blah blah blah. All right. So I expect that somebody might might uh, say that, and you know what? That's a very fair point. That is a very fair point. If I believed that God should be referred to as her or she then i would say the same thing well you know what that was written by men is matri is patriarchal um it should should be rewritten properly but watch this let's go back to that in the beginning was what the word right the word the word was with god and the word was god can we agree on that that didn't have any gender on it okay can we agree can we just agree on the validity if you're a believer if you're not a believer this video is not for you anyway so if you're a believer can we agree on the validity of verse 1 John 1 and 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God now okay you're nodding probably I'm gonna assume you're nodding we can all agree on that now where does the word come from the word comes from the mouth right and I, I mean, let's not let's let's not get sassy here and say, well, you can write down word too, okay? But I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. When you're speaking word, spoken word, the universe was spoken into existence, right? It was spoken into existence. He said, "Let there be light," okay? That's speech, all right? Where does word come from? It comes from the mouth, all right? Which energy zone? I just said we're all three parts masculine, three parts feminine. Now. What, it, what, also, what was also written in the book of Genesis, he said, let us create man in our own image and our own likeness. So if we are three parts, we're talking about the major chakra zones. I know some people that are deep spiritualists that tell you there's more than seven. We're talking about the seven primary ones. Okay, let's deal with the seven primary uh, chakra zones. Which chakra zone? No, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. And let us create man in our own image and our own likeness. If we are created with six you know three masculine three feminine and then the seventh one being neutral then that's in the image and likeness of god right that's in the image and likeness of the most high right so therefore we we know that we're made like him okay because he said let us create man in our own image and our own likeness now which one of those energy zones does word proceed from it proceeds from the throat chakra chakra number five chakra number five is a masculine energy zone right so if the word was with God and the word was God y'all stay with me y'all stay with me okay that means that that is a masculine energy zone so if we're referring to the word and the word is God then word is masculine word is masculine right stay with me stay with me because I'm just trying to get <laughs> I'm trying to get us moving in in a proper direction where we're not fighting each other okay because we got to get rid of the fighting in the earth there's, there's been too much fighting in the earth for too long we need to be we need to find some areas where we can have common ground and common agree. We're not going to agree with everything, but we, we, we need to find some common ground. So, am I wrong? Does word not proceed from the throat chakra? Now, this, this scripture says, if you say you believe in the scripture, the scripture says the word was with God and the word was God. So, if the word comes from the chakra five, okay, that's a, that's a masculine energy zone, okay? 
All right. Now, now we also know that God is spirit. So people say, well, God's a man. God's a woman. He's neither. What does the scripture say? The scripture says God is not a man that he should lie. Is that not written? So God is neither man nor woman. But if we're three parts masculine, and three parts feminine, this see, there's a difference between sometimes we get too wrapped up in words. All right. Especially in this English language, the English language, they call it the language of spells for a reason. You know, you can twist words, whatever, whatever. OK, sometimes we mistake man and woman or we use man synonymously with masculine and woman synonymously with feminine. Women access both of their energy zones all the time. They ask they access their masculine energy and their feminine energy, depending on what they're doing. OK, if you're speaking, you're accessing your masculine energy. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. OK, if you're loving, you're accessing your feminine energy. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. OK, if you're creating something, you're accessing your feminine energy. It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. Right. So let's 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 deal with that. If you're perceiving something, if you're seeing something or hearing something, you are accessing your feminine energy, sight and sound. Those are spiritual things. They're connected to your sixth chakra, which is your perception. You, you perceive things that you see or you perceive things that you hear. Those are chakra six energies. OK, those are chakra six energies, sight, sound, chakra six. That's feminine energy that. But, but again, remember what I said in another video, things that are feminine energy zones, they are more amplified in a female body. Things that are associated with masculine energy zones, they are more amplified in a masculine body. This is why when a man speaks, it is going to be far more authoritative than when a woman speaks, because that is a masculine energy. All right. Can't nobody love you like your mama, right? Everybody says that. Everybody knows that. Can't nobody love you. Your daddy can't love you like your mama. I don't care how much he loves you. He kind of love you like your mama. That's because love comes from the heart chakra. That's chakra number four. That is a feminine energy zone. So therefore, a woman accessing her feminine energy zones is going to be far more effective than a man accessing his feminine energy zones and vice versa. All right. So um, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. The word goes out. OK, the word goes out. The the motion that is associated with giving. OK, word is given. Word is also received. But when word is received, it's received via the feminine energy zones, the ears. Right. If you're reading a book, you're receiving the word through your eyes and your ears, because what you're reading, you're actually saying with no speech and you're hearing it without sound. See what I'm saying? Y'all stay with me. Y'all stay with me. Word proceeds from the mouth. OK word proceeds from the mouth so the 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 emotion that is associated with giving or proceeding you know what i should have well we, we freestyle right and filterless right I, I i ain't got a filter right that's masculine that's masculine okay the 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 emotion associated with giving is a masculine energy anything that proceeds out is masculine the emotion that is associated with receiving is feminine. It's feminine. All right. There's a reason why when you're making a socket connection, whether you're plugging in something into an electrical socket or if you're plugging in, let's say, a USB device into a computer, there's a reason why they call one end a male end and the other end a female end. The female end receives the male end. I'm going to try to keep it clean, but y'all know where I'm going with it. The, the motion associated with giving or going out, the word goes out, the motion that is associated with proceeding, that is masculine. The motion that is associated with receiving, proceeding, masculine, receiving, feminine. OK, so the act of putting forth is masculine by nature. So therefore, when you put forth the word that you're accessing your masculine energy zone and doing using a masculine motion. So therefore, that that puts the whole argument to rest right there, in my opinion. All right. All right. That's masculine energy. The word again, the word is received via the sixth chakra. You perceive it with your eyes or your ears. That's feminine energy perception. The, the third eye, third eye chakra or the sixth chakra. That's your perception. All right. Um. Now, some people might argue that words are conceived before they are put forth. Right. And we know that conception takes place in the sacral chakra, chakra number two. That's a feminine energy zone. So we know that things that are conceived are conceived, con that, that conception occurs in, in, in the chakra, too. But the very act of conception 
is the combining of masculine and feminine energies. So people, some, some might come back and argue and say, well, words are conceived before they're written or spoken. Okay, you know what? I like that, I like that. But again, the act of conception is the combining of masculine and feminine energies, right? Right? So that's why we have this whole idea of God or source or the divine creator or the universe, as some people say, um, being a representation of completion. God, is, God represents completion. He, rep, res, he represents perfection. Right? Right? It's masculine and energy, so it's complete. It's, it's masculine and feminine energy, so it's complete. It's complete. So, um, when you're talking about conceiving something, I, I, I know that words may be conceived, although you conceive it in the mind, okay? Where is the mind? The mind is actually the seventh chakra. That's the mind. That's, that's the crown. That's the the mind is the crown. Some people would argue, but the, there's no the sixth chakra is your perception. You perceive what you see. You perceive what you hear. You can even perceive what you feel. That when I, I ain't talk about that one, but that's part of your. If something hits your skin, you're perceiving it. That's actually still sixth chakra energy because that's perception. You perceive cold and hot, right? Something cold touches you. That's perception. Something hot touches you. That's perception. So that's still a feminine energy. Uh, that we're talking about that's chakra six but but when you're talking about the mind the mind is the neutral that's the neutral zone that's the crown you get things down downloaded into your mind just like this this idea for this video today was a download so um a spark a spark cannot let us okay let's talk about uh conception how that works right i just said that the act of conception is the combining of masculine and and, and feminine energy right the com the act of conception is the combining of masculine and feminine energy Come on, some of y'all had this. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all had sex education in high school. Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Some of you didn't need sex education in high school. Y'all know what I'm talking about, all right? So, um, um, let's talk about the spark. Let, 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 me, let me give you an example of a spark and some combustible material. Let's say some dry leaves, all right? The spark is actually masculine energy. It's fire. The spark, fire, that's masculine energy. You look in, in, in zodiac or astrology, your fire signs are masculine energy. Aries, um, um, Leo, Sagittarius, those are masculine, uh, uh, um, 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 what do you call it? Signs, those are masculine signs, okay? Another masculine is your air signs, okay? Air air and fire go together. So another, uh, uh, I don't wanna make this an astrology lesson, I'll leave that alone. Let, let's just deal with the fire and the spark, that's masculine energy, okay? Now, um, a, a spark cannot ignite to create fire without the presence of a flammable substance, okay? What did I just give you? I said dry leaves. Leaves come from the earth. So your flammable, your, 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 your combustible material, that's feminine energy, okay? That's feminine energy. So that feminine energy that's sitting there, that combustible material, that's gonna sit there until a spark hits it to ignite it. It's just gonna sit there. It's not gonna do anything, it's just gonna sit there. That spark or that flame, that little torch or whatever, it's just gonna sit there until it runs out. It, unless it has something to ignite or something to set on fire. So you, you cannot have that happen. That combustion cannot happen until the flame hits that combustible material. Okay. Earth. Earth. Okay. Earth energy is feminine energy. All right. Seed is masculine. Earth is feminine. Seed is a seed is dormant until it hits fertile earth. I talked about that in another video. Okay. Earth is dormant. It, earth can't grow anything until a seed hits it. All right. And that earth has got to be fertile. So let, let, let's keep this going, okay? So, now, um, with all of that said, because I'm going to wrap this up, if we go by the letter of <clears throat> the word and allow it to serve as our guide, then as it's written in John chapter 1, it's quite proper to refer to the divine as he. Right? Word. Word comes from the fifth chakra zone. So I don't want to continue harping on the same point and being uh, repetitive. I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on this? Um, tell me if I'm wrong. The word. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Let me let me let me let me rephrase that. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. That may sound a little arrogant, but I'm a Capricorn, so <laughs> that comes with it. All right, all right. <laughs> anyway, listen. Um, where do we go from here now? Where do we go? Well, you know what? If you want to continue calling um, God she or her, referring to as he she or her. You're not going to get an argument from me. I don't, I don't care. I mean, you know, it, the energies, again, the most high, the creator is a balance of these energies. Okay. So you do you, all I'm saying is do not 
put forth this narrative that it is improper to refer to God as him or or he because uh, I, I keep hearing this thing over and over again. Um, God is a woman. OK, um, and I did another video. You can check out the uh, the card here or the link in the description box. There's another argument. Um, I hear it coming a lot out of the comedic community. Um, um, hey, man, uh, the woman is God because the woman gives birth and you can't have life. I did a video not debunking, but explaining why that's not necessarily sound doctrine. OK, you can check that video out. It's titled Is the Woman God? All right. That's I did that uh, several weeks ago. So I want to get ready to wrap this up. I want to hear from you guys. Like I said, if you want to continue calling God, she or referring to God as uh, she or her and you're doing that already, do you. All I'm saying is it is not improper and it is not being overly masculine to refer to God as him because and, and again, in accordance with with uh, John chapter one. All right. If the if in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. All right. All things were made by him. What the word, the word was spoken and then things were created. You say, I want dinner. I'm going to make dinner. Dinner appears. All right. You spoke the word manifestation. Manifestation begins with. Well, it uh, technically some people, you know, is it the, the the egg? Did the egg come first or the chicken or whatever? But manifestation begins in with a, with the concept of what do I want? Again, concept conception, the combining of masculine and 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 and, and uh, masculine and feminine energies. So when you're talking about concept, you're getting something straight from God, because God is perfect. He's he he's perfectly balanced. I said he. You want to say she? Do you? You're not gonna get an argument from me. You're not. I'm just saying. Do not argue with someone who's saying, well, the Bible's overly masculine. That might be true, but it is proper to refer to God as him because if the word is God, word is word proceeds from the fifth chakra. The the the, the act of proceeding, the, the motion that goes with proceeding is a masculine motion. All right. So I don't have nothing else to say, y'all. <laughs> this is you have been watching Freestyle Fridays with author Matt D. Talford and my show Maddie's Rap. The show where we used to talk about things that guys rapped about when we when we're hanging out. And now we rap about spiritual things and scriptural things and things that are going to enhance your mind, body and spirit. And I haven't done enough body stuff. So that's coming. I promise you guys I'll drop my first one. Not first one because I got some body stuff in, in, in my channel now. But, you know, we'll, we'll be talking thing, uh, more about things like exercise and, and, you know, ways that you can get around eating some of these processed foods that are abundant, that that mean your body no good. We'll talk about that in some upcoming videos. But for now, I'm going to get ready to, to sign off here. Again, check out my work. I'm an award-winning author. You can see the thumbnails at the end of this video. And uh, you could do any of those books that you want to purchase. You can purchase them in print, in um, ebook. Print is paperback. You can purchase. Uh, you you can purchase them. You can download them in the ebook format, um, uh, Kindle and iBooks. And uh, for my award-winning debut. From Fear to Faith, a survivor story, a story which will illustrate to you in vivid detail how mindset can help you to overcome the absolute worst of circumstances. You can get that also in audiobook. All right. Now, ready by us truly. Listen, guys, ladies, tell somebody you love them and mean it. How do you mean it? You show it. Peace, y'all.